This one should be one of the best games of Saturday's slate. Uh, of course, we talked about South Carolina. They're coming off just a rough, rough week um, where they get blown out by Auburn. And then they get surprised by LSU late. Jordan Wright having a pretty good game in that one. Guys, we know Michi Johnson suffered a couple of injury issues uh, off, you know, off and on uh, throughout the course of the season. BJ Mack, though, has been a force. Talon Cooper's been outstanding for South Carolina. A um, bunch of good players for the South Carolina team. Kent Palm has this one extremely close. Uh, they've got Ole Miss picked out 70 to 68 by 58%. Almost a coin flip game here. Uh, guys, who are you rocking in this one? It is a huge Q2 chance uh, for Ole Miss and a Q1 chance for South Carolina. I, I wish I knew what Ole Miss, before I made this prediction, what Ole Miss did against Mississippi State on Monday yeah. night before this one. I kind of see what the mindset coming is. But I think we'd all agree. I feel like Ole Miss has to at least go one and one this week. Absolutely. They can get one of them, either in Starkville or at the Pavilion this week in South Carolina. Specifically in this one, I mean, this one in the first game, uh, y'all correct me if I'm wrong, in, in Columbia, it was kind of back and forth. I think South Carolina was up the whole time, and then Ole Miss made a little push, had a chance. They weren't in the foul. That was it. The Morrell, they thought yeah. uh, he may have got bumped into it at the end of the game, and the ref didn't call it. I mean, I think he was kind of – he initiated the contact. But it is what it is. Specifically, this game, again, I'd like to know what Mississippi, how that Mississippi State game goes in this one. I, I'm going to go I'm gonna go Ole Miss to the pavilion here. I'm going to go Ole Miss to the pavilion. I think they play, obviously, like most teams, play better offensively. I was at that Auburn game a couple of weeks ago, and they, they came out on fire in that first half, and they couldn't hit anything in the second half. But I think – South Carolina disappears a little bit on offense. It's on the road. Ole Miss, his environment is a lot better this year, thanks to Chris Beard. I mean, going up into two games there this year, I'm like, man, this actually, it's loud in here, especially for that Auburn game, like I mentioned. I think South Carolina can disappear. We mentioned Michi Johnson being hurt. Tlon Cooper didn't put up a lot yesterday. I think B.J. Mack was their leading scorer uh, in the LSU game. I'm I'm gonna go Ole Miss here. I think I've guaranteed one. I think they go one and one this week. Like I mentioned, I think they're gonna lose to Mississippi State, and I think it's gonna be kind of a hey, we got to go get us one. Again, road games in college basketball, the crowd pushes them over the limit. I think South Carolina again. That's why I was never that sold on them being a true title contender. I think games like this, the offense is gonna disappear. Give, give me Ole Miss uh, at home. I totally agree that Ole Miss has got to go one and one this week. I'm with you a hundred percent. That is a must do for the Rebels this week. Maddie, your thoughts on this game? So I'm going to go on the other side of the coin um, from Dave's perspective. I don't think South Carolina is going to let another game slip away after last week. You know the the major upset against LSU, absolutely getting the snot beat out of them. I think they're going to take this one, and I think they're going to get pretty aggressive with it. I think it's going to be similar to, um, you know, when South Carolina came into Bud Walton. We had a great crowd. Um, unfortunately, the team didn't show up in the building and South Carolina kind of ran away with it. Now, Ole Miss, obviously a better contender than the Hogs this year. But I think, um, like Dave mentioned, BJ Mack, absolutely fantastic for this program um, this season. is going to kind of take it down low um, and dominate the front court. So, yeah, this one comes down to a coin flip to me. I, I think about Ole Miss's rebounding issues against somebody like B.J. Mack, uh, you know, and having a really good front court player in him. And then I also think about exactly what Dave said. Uh, South Carolina's offense is my biggest concern with South Carolina. Uh, so for me, I'm going to go, I think, Ole Miss in this one. I, again, I agree with Dave. They have to go one and one this week. Um, and I think more than likely they go one and one, but they're going to win one of these two games. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take South Carolina here in this one, even though my gut tells me they end up going one and one. Uh, I do like this matchup for Ole Miss at home with what's been a pretty good home court environment this season uh, for the Rebels. Uh, Kim There's some interesting storylines in that one that don't even have anything to do with the game. Oh, well, how does Ole Miss handle Mississippi State? Then how does South Carolina take the week off to kind of like – that's Get back the, on the charger and kind of reset after a horrific week. Like it, it, it's kind of interesting. I think there's a, so much, there's so many more days before that game. Probably th that game probably feels so far away for both those teams. It, it, it's got to feel weird right now, especially yeah. for South Carolina. And we've seen teams come out of the break and play extraordinarily well, getting that little time to rest, that extra day of practice. You know, like 
these teams have come out of the break and played exceptionally well. So there's mm-hmm. a real chance South Carolina has a chance to come in and win this game. It might even be closer than what Kim Palm suggesting. Mm-hmm. Like this could be just a one point ball game is what it comes down to on a you know a, a calculation standpoint. And this game might be almost 50 50. Um, so like that, that's gonna be a heck of a game. Uh, like I said, that's why my gut instinct tells me that Ole Miss goes one and one, but you're exactly right. The rest and the distance that it feels like on these games right now is just, just wild um, on how these th- games are set up right now. 